Uh, could you just introduce yourself, please? Sure. Yeah. What are you a journalist for? Sorry, I'm a freelance. I work okay. for online and broadcast. So. Right, okay. Um, my name's Christine Payton. I'm a lecturer in sociology yes. at the University of Liverpool. Okay, and is, is part of the strike to do with changes to pensions? Absolutely, it is. So there's a change proposed um, which um, will um, end in costs. Um, sorry, cuts are up to 40% of pensions, so it's a change from what's known as a defined uh, benefit to a defined contribution, which essentially changes your benefit from being something of um, security to uh, a pensions being uh, based on market like um, so it's like the previous one is like a final salary scheme yeah, so like it's, yeah similar to it so it's, it's just it's, it's kind of creating risk and kind of less security so but bearing in mind that pensions are deferred pay right yeah. so this is this is pay that we have um, contributing to in our scheme as employees so when are they making those changes or is it already happening well no this is the this is the debate and the discussion okay. that's happening so universities U, UK have, have put this forward and the the, um, the union here UCU is opposing these cuts yeah um, and we want to have a discussion about this. So the strike was really to initiate that discussion yeah, because, you, because you, UK were at that point hadn't been participating in discussions of alternatives. So this was to initiate that. So now, subsequently, since we have um, been on strike, those talks are taking place and are taking place today. So we have helped push progress. So we are, we are, are in discussions. Are you hopeful that things will stay the same? Or Absolutely. Or like, uh, like, I think as well, like, our, our strike was never about absolutely defending um, the defined benefits, although I, I think we should. It was about having those conversations going, so there are different kind of um, alternatives and permutations and negotiations that you see Europe forward, and they're, they're part of the discussions. Um, should we have a defined benefit pension scheme? Yes. Should other sectors have it? Yes. There's often this talk, well, we shouldn't have it. It's like this gold place pension. These are important. If a pension is not a defined benefit, then it's not a pension. Yeah, right. because of course you paid into it. Yeah, it's a pension. Pension should be security. It's a form where the youth paid into, and it's important, you know, for lots of reasons. Because I mean, even the nature of our job, we we train for ten years, ten years which is uh, involved student debt. I don't start paying into my pension until I'm in my thirties. I work, you know, well over like 40, 50 hours a week, you know. Each week, um, we do extra all the time for students. This was one of this part of the social contract. You know, was part of what we agreed when we were, you know, working in academia that, that having this pension was part of it. So to have that ripped away, and it, that's this is about the degrading of higher education that's becoming increasingly privatised. You know, students are paying like um, fees that have never been higher. Of course, fees are going up a lot. Of course, recently, so well, where's yes. the money going if it's not going into staff resources? Where is that money going? So there's lots of questions that have to be asked. This is reason it's beyond pensions. So is it a decision of the university management done about the pension scheme or is it oh, above So there's the a Universities UK are, 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 are kind of a body, a public sector body who are supposed to be the voices of, of, of universities so so yeah they have a kind of key role in this as made up of vice chancellors from, yes. from, from I think various I saw universities. Some protest about yeah so they're in, and muscle yeah. group yeah universities yeah. That, that, that are involved in that so yeah. Okay well thank you very much no, for your time. You're welcome thank you.